Did you know that over 50% of the bikes on this planet are made in China? In fact, we ride more bikes in the UK made in China than we do from Japan. Okay, so those figures may be related to the budget scooter sales, and you may have heard some horror stories. And that's why Chinese manufacturers haven't been taken that seriously, yet. And I say yet because that could all be about to change. WK bikes are at the forefront of the Chinese manufacturers in the UK, and they launched their first serious road bike back in 2012. It was so serious, in fact, that they raced it in last year's TT. The rate at which Chinese bikes are improving is astounding. And when I heard that they were launching a bike much more up my street, I thought I need to go and check it out. And here it is, the WK 450RX. riding now for a good hour and um, although I'm tired because my fitness isn't great I really don't notice a difference with this WK at all from the RMs, the CRs that I've ridden and it's loads of fun. Now I've had a few hours on the 450 this morning, I'm a little bit muddy but that's more like it hey. This is Henry, he's the manager of WK Bikes. Firstly give us a bit of history on them. WK Bikes we launched in the UK about three years ago now. Um, Quadzilla Quads is our parent company and we've been selling road legal quads to the UK for about 13 years now. So three years ago we decided to move into the two-wheel market. Now last year saw the first Chinese bike to ever race in the TT and you're heading back there this year aren't you? So you must have done well last year. Yeah I mean it's a, it was a big learning curve for us last year. Obviously never been to the TT, never been to the island and never produced a race bike before but it was, yeah, as I say, a big learning curve, but again, this year we, we've taken on what we learned last year and hopefully improving on what we've done. And now we've got this, the WK450RX, which is your first off-road bike. And it's a serious one, tell us about it. Yeah, the 450RX, and like you say, it is, it is a serious bit of kit, Four, 450cc, um, 43 brake horsepower. This has got a Yoshimura exhaust system that we'll offer as an aftermarket special, special pipe. But yeah, it's got everything that all the competition have, aluminium frame, 47 mil, um, upside down fork so you can go anywhere do anything with this bike. So how much is this bike on the road then? You're looking for, in standard trim at just over £4,000 on the road um, but we do a, a special offer with a set of supermoto wheels for, so for £4,200 you get a dual purpose bike that you can do on road and off road so it's it's very desirable for, and something different for the marketplace. A good value for money. Definitely good value for money. And a lot of the stigma about Chinese products obviously is not just the quality but the the parts backup and the and the supply of parts through dealer networks and that's where we i think we offer much more than any other chinese bike distributor we have a, a good strong dealer network we stock over one and a half million pounds worth of parts here in in the uk so we can offer a dealer network parts on a next day service and we can back up any product that we sell hence why we put a two-year warranty on, on all, our, all our wk products and you race in the amca championship don't you so you know what to look for what you want what you need in a bike like this yeah i mean off-road riding is my hobby so I do that most weekends so getting on this bike I can I knew what ne needed to feel like I knew things straight away that needed to be changed and so I th I'd like to think that I've got a good opinion about what's good and what's not on, a, on an off-road bike. Well now I think it's time we get back out on the bikes and have a bit more fun because it's not been long enough. No let's go. Yeah.
The reason I came here today was because I wanted to find out whether or not the WK compared favourably to other bikes in the market in the same category. And do you know what? I think it does. After a few hours riding today, it's got bags of personality. It looks good. It sounds like a 450, which you may not expect. The overall feel of the bike feels amazing to me compared to other 450s that I've personally ridden. I know I'm not the best rider, but what's important is that I feel good on a bike and I enjoy riding it and this delivers. Six and a half to seven and a half K, it's a lot of money to spend on a bike, especially if you're new to Enduro trail riding, you don't even know whether or not you're gonna like it. 4K seems like a steal, great value for money. And being a Chinese manufacturer, they're working extra hard to change people's opinions about them. So the aftercare is excellent. Would I buy this? No, I wouldn't, but that's all due to the fact that it's a 450. It's a bit of a lump for me. I wouldn't buy any 450, but luckily they're bringing out a 250 in the middle of the year and that's the bike for me.